This is what Uhuru Kenyatta will do soon that will shake the country's politics ever. Hello and welcome to Kenyan Secrets. If you are new to the channel, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos. The controversial Jubilee Party Vice Chairman Mr. David has revealed the former president of Kenya, Mr. Kenyatta, plans to guide my Kenyan region in a new direction. Mr. David, who has been on the Azimola and Majo faction of the Jubilee Party, noted that Uhuru Kenyatta had initially plan to formally retire from politics but made a U-turn from retirement. Mr. David also noted that Kenyatta will have to give a new direction and political support. My Kenya, which has been known to be the vote region in the country, has been under grabs by top politicians. With Kenyatta currently supporting the opposition side, many anticipate that he will preferably rally the region to support a candidate from the opposition side, expressing confidence in his ability to overcome the political attacks from his former allies, to adversaries such as MP Kega and Sabina Chege, the nominated MP. Mr. Davy highlighted the significant factors of the cost of living and the diminishing trust among Kenyans towards the administration. According to Mr. Davy, these factors will contribute greatly to restoring a rural's position of influence. In other news, Mount Kenyan resident shouts back at Mondavadi after he asked them this. Kenyan Prime Cabinet Secretary Mondavadi is among the top names in Kenyan Kwanza government that accompanied President William Ruto to his five-day tour of Mount Kenyan region. <laughs> Speaking during the tour, Mondavadi affirmed that as people in the government, they do not want anybody to interrupt their programs, asking the opposition alliance to give President Ruto time to leave the country. Mondavadi also used the chance to fault Willa Ozinga, who he says failed to to name a member from the Mount Kenya region in his five member delegation team for talks with the ruling alliance. Modavadi says that Rila Odinga should have included a member from the Mount Kenya region since he was advocating for inclusivity in his recent past. Look at the five member team provided by Azimo. Rila Odinga says he won inclusivity, but check at the team. If there is any member from the Mount Kenya region, he said he later asked his audience if there was any and received the response. No. Despite having a number of leaders from the Mount Kenya in the opposition faction, Azimo and their team selected leaders from different regions with Kalonzo Misioka as their leader. You remember me one day, Uhuru's prophecy fulfilled after Mount Kenya residents see this. The former president Uhuru Kenyatta's prophecy concerning the Kenyan Kwanza administration and the Mount Kenya region seems to have fulfilled after residents from his backyard expressed their dissatisfaction with the introduction of the taxes on their businesses during the campaign period. Uhuru Kenyatta told residents from the mountain that they should avoid falling into the promises peddled by William Ruto, urging them to listen to him because he knew the deputy William Ruto more than any Kenya. You will remember me one day, you will be telling me how the cost of living is very high, but I will tell you to persevere since I will be involved in my personal engagement, taking care of my sheep and enjoying my retirement benefits. 11 months into Kenyan Kwanza administration, under the stewardship of President William Ruto, business people from Kenya have lamented over the government move to tax their overall business and the Matatu sector, which is run by the Kikiyus, following the passing of the controversial finance bill 2023. The truth of the matter is that the cost of living is very high. The cost of doing business today is record high, just as we were told by Uru Kenyatta in the run up to last year's general election, said one of the residents from the county. In addition, the president and his deputy promised the Mount Kenya region that they would divide resources by revisiting the one-man, one-shilling proposal, which will see the Mount Kenya region benefit immensely from county allocation funds. However, the dream remains a pipe dream as those trying to raise the issue are silent. Nevertheless, politicians allied with President William Ruto are arguing that it is too early to judge Kenyan Kwanza administration. What do you think of this proposal? Hope you enjoyed the video and please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded videos and have a blessed day.